What's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the Nike Craft and Tom Sachs. This is the general purpose shoe. They're calling this one a studio colorway. Uh, before I go into the review and go over the kicks and all that stuff, if you're new to my channel and it's your first time just stumbling across one of my videos, welcome to the channel. Thank you for taking out some time to drop by and kick it with me for a minute. But look, while I have you here, do me a huge favor and go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way when I upload new material, I post new content or anything like that, you get notified and you can head to the channel and you can check out the latest video that I uploaded for you guys. If you are on social media such as uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, if you enjoy like pictures of sneakers and outfits and just regular sneaker talk, just go ahead and give me a follow on there. And you can find me and I'm at I am TMCII. So go ahead and give me a follow on my social media. And uh, lastly, hit the thumbs up. And it really goes a long way. It's an uh, indicator to me. Let me know that you guys enjoy the content and it just motivates me to want to keep recording videos whenever I have new pickups. So. Now that the intro is out of the way, let's go ahead and we can dive right into the review. So first I'm gonna probably just kind of go over, show you guys the material of the kicks, then I'll jump into the quality control, and then lastly, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna toss them on feet, go over sizing and comfort and all that stuff. So pretty, just stick around for the whole video, and I got you guys pretty much covered for pretty much everything on the shoe. Um, so Tom Sachs, for those who don't know, he released several different shoes with Nike. Uh, he had the Mars Yard, the 1.0, the 2.0, uh, the overshoe, shoes you, all, you guys have all seen. It's always been like extremely limited, hard to get shoes, but for some reason he's released uh, this general purpose shoe and um, you know, it, it, they dropped them on his website initially and he said, you know, basically uh, don't pay resale, they're gonna restock um, these shoes and they're gonna have them, you know, in several different colors to come down the line. So. The general purpose shoe, he wanting this shoe to, for just like the ordinary person to do whatever you feel like doing in it and just pretty much just wham them to the ground. Uh, that's why they call them like the general purpose shoe. And I've seen some pictures uh, when they first came out and it's uh, like a, a worn to the ground pair of these. And I'll show you guys the picture. I think these actually look really good with some wear and tear on them. And it's just like the other Mars Yards. I think those look good uh, once you start putting some mile on them and just, you know, just basically wham them to the dirt and just beat them up to the ground. So for when I saw these, I don't have any of the, um, any of Tom Sachs other shoes. So for when I was able to try and get my hands on these, I was happy I was able to get them. Uh, Cause this is a shoe that I'm gonna just probably kind of just throw on daily for errand runs, take the trash out or whatever. It's gonna be one of those shoes that I want to really put some miles on and just kind of leave by the door and just have that shoe to just throw on and do whatever. And uh, so uh, I kind of track the progress on it as I put some miles on them and some wear and tear on them. Uh, but here you go, I'm gonna show you guys the material. So you got different grains. Uh, it's like a real durable, uh, like a du du uh, new buck, a durabuck on here. Um, and this is like a real thick rubber, like this dark gum rubber uh, down on the bottom. Um, coming up to this part here, uh, not sh quite sure what the material. It's like a fabric, kind of like kind of like a mesh, but not quite a mesh because um, it has like a little texture feel to it. And the swoosh is kind of uh, like painted on swoosh. And then you have that same. Uh, new buck durabuck kind of material going up the uh the lace holes and then you got a mesh kind of tongue here uh i thought like i said these are like a general purpose shoe it's a very simple shoe very plain shoe and it seemed like a lot of people were able to get their hands on these uh like they were on tom Sachs website and you enter a raffle and if you got selected you got like a secret uh email link to check out with the shoes and uh like if you were selected you was able to check out and get them and seemed like pretty much anybody on my timeline who entered for them uh was able to scoop these up so glad to see a lot of people tried them try for them and got them uh the resale initially on these was like an arm and a leg but once time made the announcement that they're gonna restock them and then they're gonna be drink, uh, bringing them out in different colors the restock just kind of went down to the ground so that's pretty much good so for whoever wanted them and want to, want to wear them to the ground, they're going to be able to do that. And even if you didn't cop, you'll be able to get them on a resale market for, uh, you know, somewhat of a fairly decent price. So uh, that's pretty much it for as the, the material goes. Thank you guys got a good look 
of the different kind of grains of materials that they use. As far as quality control goes, I seem like quality, the QC is okay. I don't have any real, um, no issues with paint, uh, no real defects with stitching or diffusing of the paint and this material together. No stitching issues. Uh, seem like they did an okay job. And that's usually the case when they have a collaboration. Uh, it's just some of the inline general release stuff. Most of the time, Nike just cut corners and give us real crap uh, quality control and materials. But seem like these, they okay. Seem like they, um, the, the QC is okay on this. So you got this behind the tongue, little serial number, something right here. You guys could pause the video and read that if you want. Uh, like I said, overall, the QC is okay. Um, no major defects. I don't have any like glue marks or anything that really stands out and jump out at you. Uh, nothing that you guys will definitely notice for whenever I toss them on feet, you guys won't notice any little small minor defects that I see. Uh, looking at the tag, look like these went into production uh, May of 21 to December 21, and we're just getting them. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the kicks go and the material. Uh, I'll show you guys the box real quick. So you got a cool box. So at the, on the top lid, you got that Nike Craft, and you got general purpose shoe, Tom Sachs on the side, coming to the front with the label. Here is your product code, your label, your color breakdown. Um, you got this, you can scan this with your camera. It just opens up the regular Nike app. Doesn't do anything special as of yet. I'm not sure if that's gonna do something in the future, but for right now, that don't do anything. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the box. Coming to the inside, you got this little message. Uh, you guys can pause the video and read that if you like. You have like these little, I don't know if this is like bullets or what, or markers or what, I, I'm not sure what this is, rockets, because I know it's like, you know, he do a lot with the space program. So I'm not sure what this is. So if anybody know what this is, drop me a comment down at the bottom, let me know. So that's the box. These are the kicks, show y'all the kicks one more time. Uh, before I take them off here, do me a favor, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these. Usually reply to you guys when you guys leave me comments. If I don't reply to exactly what you say to me, I'm gonna hit the heart button or the thumbs up button just to let you know that I saw the comment. Uh, so go ahead, drop me a comment. Curious to see what you guys say and think about these. So I'm gonna take them off here now though and I'm gonna toss them on feet real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on feet. So you guys hang tight, let's toss them on feet. All right guys, here's a quick look at the general purpose shoe. Just want to share out what they look like really quick uh, on feet. Uh, first things first, we just jump right into sizing. Uh, usually like the most asked questions from you guys. So to me, I have like a medium to a somewhat narrow foot and I like a snug and exact fit on my kicks and I don't have any of these and I didn't have any sizing to go by. So I went down a half size and I think I should have went true to size. They fit, they are snug, but they're a little bit too snug. I think the more I wear them, they may start to give a little bit more. Um, but if I could go back in time and do it all over again when I was placing my order, I think I would go, I would recommend going true to size. I mean, the down to half size work. Um, I just feel like they are a little bit on the, on the too snug side for me. So I'm gonna really have to wear these, break these in and see how they feel over time. Uh, so like if you have medium to narrow with feet like me, go true to size. I, I wouldn't recommend going down a half size unless you like a really extreme tight fit and um, you're gonna kind of just wear them into the ground like me and you think they'll just stretch out or break in over time, I think you can do that. If you have wide feet, um, I think go up a half size. If you have wide feet, go up a half size. I think they'll be a little bit too snug if you go true to size and you have wide feet. It's already kind of like a narrow shoe. Uh, so if you have wide feet, you probably wanna go up a half size in these. It feels like a real thin shoe too with the material, how thin and light it is. As far as comfort goes, um, it's not like the most comfortable shoe I've, I've, I own. Uh, it, it doesn't feel quite flat to the ground, but it's not squishy and bouncy either uh kind of feels like an old school cross trainer type shoe to me um i don't know it's with it being a, a new shoe i thought it'd be a little bit more comfortable than this but it's, it's not the most comfortable it's not painful at all uh i definitely think i could rock it all day 
and and not be like man i gotta take these off these off and switch into something else uh it's just an okay comfort like you know average comfort to me it's not like the most comfortable thing um but here you go man i won't ramble anymore uh just wanted to show y'all what they look like on feet real quick uh as i mentioned earlier if you're new go ahead and subscribe to the channel i have more videos to share with you guys more pickups uh but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here wrap it up quit talking so i'll see you guys on the next video thank you guys for watching i'll see y'all later peace